Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and I'm doing a new video sequence of how I go about making a character. So as you can see at the moment what I'm doing is blocking out the shape of my character using Z spheres and this gives me a lot of uh, freedom and um, ability to actually change the shape of the character quite quickly. So um, I use this pretty much on any character sculpt that I start with. It just allows you to alter things uh, fast. Once I've got that uh, base mesh or base rig um, available, what I then start using is the edit sketch tool, which I'm currently demonstrating. And the cool thing about this is that it allows you to start uh, adding in details for muscles if you wanted to, or just blocking out the overall form uh, at a much earlier stage. So as you can see from this, I'm converting it to a Polymesh 3D, which now gives me full functionality of the tools within ZBrush. So this means that I can make use of um, some of the cool tools like uh, clay, like the smooth tool, and mainly the move tool. Those are the three that I kind of concentrate on uh, when making characters, especially at this stage, um, as they are the ones that allow you to rough out your character much much quicker and um, just get an overall feel of how things are, are going. So what I would recommend to anyone kind of starting out this, this process is don't try to add in facial details or fingers or any of that kind of refined uh, information until you got the overall form uh, in a in a better place. So um, don't be kind of trying to run before you can walk with this stuff. People seem to think that when you start using ZBrush you can do everything just at the click of a button. And it takes time uh, and effort to actually get it to a point where it looks, looks good. And you don't just have all that detail within a couple of minutes. So you have to spend time developing the thing. So this video is just showing how I'm going over that mesh using the smooth tool, uh, which is just shift on your keyboard, uh, using the move tool to pull out uh, some form for the legs, give it a little bit more kind of uh, weight and substance, and then just refining forms as I'm going around the thing. Uh, what is useful um, is to occasionally zoom out from your character so that you get an overall appreciation of how that uh, form is, is starting to take shape. Uh, if you don't do that and you just focus on maybe a hand or a, a leg or the face, um, once you do zoom out, it could be a case that it looks a bit weird in relation to everything else because you haven't got the scaling or proportions right. So always check your work on a regular basis to make sure that things are looking appropriate uh, for what you're trying to make. Okay, so um, if you were trying to you know, build this character within 3ds Max, um, you'd be spending a lot longer than a couple of minutes, uh, as I have with this, uh, trying to get to the same point. And you'd have to build all the topology into it, um, think about edge loops and stuff like that. With this process, you don't need to worry about that. You can just start sculpting. So it's more about your ability to create from your own imagination and from reference material um, to make interesting things. And it's not that kind of reliance on technical stuff about edge loops. Okay, so I'm going to leave this video here at the moment. Um, hopefully you're getting an impression as to how you can go about starting your character. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing, uh, please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for upcoming videos.